All right, today I'm going to show you how to use the Turnigy USB linker to update your ESCs um, that have already been flashed with the Simon K firmware with the bootloader enabled. Uh, these particular ESCs are from Skullcopter. These are his 20A all NFET um, ESCs preloaded with Simon K and the bootloader. And, uh, he was offering a special. You bought four of his ESCs and you received one USB linker. So I figured I would do a tutorial. I haven't seen any videos on this. There are a couple written tutorials online. Uh, I just wanted to show you in the first part of the video how to hook it up to the computer and then we'll go and uh, we'll look at what what you have to do with the software. So this side here we're going to attach the servo uh, connector. Uh, we noticed that uh, on this one the colors match up you know, your signal wire over here and uh, your ground and then the middle is going to be your positive so we just plug that in here now the um, USB linker does not add power to the ESC so we need to power it separately um, I always like to plug in a motor so I can hear the sound I know I'm getting power to the ESC I take one of my Sunny Sky motors here and uh, just plug it into the ESC. Doesn't matter where you go because the direction isn't going to matter. Okay. Now, a couple of banana clips for my battery. Now that's all hooked up. I can plug the USB dongle into my computer. I'm just using a USB extension cable here, but or you can just plug it right into the USB port on your computer. And uh, the second part of this video, I will show you how to do everything on the computer. Now that we have the USB linker plugged into the computer, we now need to find out uh, if we have the drivers installed and if not we need to install the correct drivers located in the description of this video is two links the first link is to my uh, Dropbox account which will let you download the drivers for the USB linker as well as the software we're going to use to reflash the ESC the second link should be a link to the most recent um, Simon K firmware files uh, which will download all of the available Simon K files you'll be able to pick uh, the correct one for your ESC. So first thing I'm going to do is go to Device Manager and make sure that we have the drivers installed. We do not. So let's go. Uh, if you click on the link in the description, it will bring you to this page. We're going to download both the drivers. and we'll install the software we're going to use to flash the ESCs. Okay. And then we might as well, while we're on the internet, click on the second link, which will bring us here. And the one at the top is the most recent uh, pack for the Simon K firmware. Now that we have all three files downloaded. Let's go to the folder that you downloaded them to and unpack all three files to their own separate folder. Okay. First folder we're going to open is the driver installer. Open that. And uh, I'm running a 64-bit operating system, so I'm going to install the 64-bit. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's finished. Back to Device Manager, and we can see that under Ports, we now have the Silicon Labs USB to UART bridge. Um, take note of your COM number. I'm going to be on COM18. The application we're going to use to flash is going to ask us that later. We close Device Manager. We go back to the folder. 
Now the second step is we're going to take the Simon K files that we've unpacked here, and we'll select all of them, copy, go back to the folder for the ESD update app, and paste them all in this folder. Okay. So now we're going to locate the file name flash.cmd, double click that. And here's the software we're going to use to reflash the ESC. The first question it asks us is which COM port? And as you recall, mine's going to be COM18, yours may be different. The second step is going to be your firmware. Now all ESCs are different, but if you happen to have purchased the Skullcopter uh, 20A Simon K ESC, um, then that one takes the BS underscore NFET.hex file. Uh, make sure you choose the correct Simon K update file um, because loading the wrong one on your ESC can cause damage. So I'm going to type in BS underscore NFET dot hex. Press enter. Now it's going to double check. Are you sure this is correct? I know it is. And I'm going to press any key. And now we are flashing through the USB linker through the servo cable. It's going to read the firmware again to make sure that it's flashed correctly. And it has finished and completed successfully. So I press any key. And that will conclude the reflashing. And what I will do next is show you um, that it's been flashed and we will do the throttle calibration. Okay, now that the flashing is over, we can test to make sure everything went well. I'm going to unplug the USB linker. I've unplugged my battery connection. Okay. I'm going to use my servo tester to use this. You can also use your receiver on the throttle, um, throttle uh, input on your receiver. What you would do is you would uh, turn on your radio, put your throttle stick all the way in the up position. Um, you would plug in your receiver, uh, your ESC into your throttle input, and then you would turn on the power to your ESC, which would power the ESC, and uh, you'll hear the same beeps you'll see here, and I'll show you what that sounds like. Okay. I have it plugged in. Now I have my servo tester turned all the way up as, as it would be the same if you were using your radio and this would be the same thing. Alright, now I turn it all the way back down. Alright, and now we should be able to give it throttle input. All right, we have successfully reflashed the ESCs. Um, the USB linker makes this such an easy process now because uh, once you have your ESCs all mounted up on your frame, rather than having to take everything off or reach into hard places to reflash your ESCs when new firmware comes out, you don't even have to take it off the frame now. Uh, you can just use the USB linker and plug it into your computer uh, and reflash all your ESCs, and it makes things a lot easier. So uh, I'm really glad that that we can do that now. So uh, thanks for watching.